Vision score has been in the game for a long time now, but it's not clear exactly how vision score works. As it turns out, vision score can be translated into about one point per minute of valuable ward lifetime that you've provided for your team. So, if your vision score is 15, that means you've provided 15 minutes of valuable ward lifetime to your team, or denied valuable ward lifetime, but we'll come to that later. So, why do I keep talking about valuable wards? Well, that's because to get this full one point per minute, the ward needs to be providing some value to your team, and there's four reasons why a ward would not provide this full value. These reasons are categorised as staleness, redundancy, safety and pointlessness. Beginning with staleness, a stale ward is one which doesn't see anything interesting. These interesting things can be enemy champions, enemy wards or objectives. A stale ward will reduce in value over time from its one point per minute score down to half a point per minute score and it will reach this bottom modifier after two minutes of no action. So ultimately, if your ward's in a good place but it doesn't see anything, you're going to get half a point per minute. Next we have redundancy. This is where your ward is nearby other friendly sources of vision, which include other wards, structures or friendly minions. Its value will be reduced by 25% for each redundancy nearby, up to a maximum of 75% reduction. For example, if minions are giving the same vision, it will be worth 75%. However, if minions give the same vision and it's near another by ward, it will give 50%. However, good to note, lane minions do not count towards redundancy if the ward is in a bush. Following this, we have safety. The safety modifier increases the closer a ward is to your own base. From your buffs outwards, you will receive full vision score from your your wards. However, this can be reduced to as much as 50% the closer to your own base you're placing your wards. So basically, deeper vision is rewarded and shallower, safer vision is not. And finally, we have pointlessness, which, as the name suggests, is a fully useless ward. For example, a ward under your tower or a ward on your fountain will both be pointless, and these wards will not give any vision score at all. Also, what's fun is any abilities that provide vision, such as Ash's Hawkshot and Swain's Vision of Empire, have a base score line which will give between 0.1 and 0.5 vision score for using the ability, and can give bonus points for what's revealed. For example, a hawk shot which reveals the enemy team on Baron will give you a lot of points, but a hawk shot which reveals an empty Baron pit will still give you the minimum inbuilt amount. Also, every ward that's placed will give you a baseline minimum score. This minimum score is a third of a point, which is worth about 20 seconds of vision. So, if you place down a ward and an enemy Leona auto-attack queue auto-attacks it immediately, you will still get this minimum value of a third of a point. You can also be rewarded with vision score for denying enemy vision. As a general rule, you will get one vision score point per minute of the time left on the enemy's ward. Also, when you destroy a control ward, it will always give you one and a half points. So, how can I improve my own vision score every game? Well, check out my video on warding. It goes over a lot of the basics of what every laner should be doing at all points in the game. But essentially, if you're not already, make sure to be buying an early control ward for your jungle entrance. And then if this gets killed or becomes obsolete, place down a new one. Each champion can only have one out at a time and you want to make sure to get this value. Otherwise, make sure you're warding in high traffic areas where multiple enemies will be passing over often. Do all this to see a huge improvement improvement quickly.